Okay, so if you're worried about being the victim of a violent crime, what can you do? I mean, we were just talking, it's like everywhere. And um, it's kind of scary in some ways. So what can you do? Well, first off, a lot of the advice that I could give about this is stuff you've already heard. It's like, you know, what mom said, don't go alone, you know, stay in lighted areas. Like all that stuff, it just happens to be true. It's like, you know, how do you stay healthy? Well, you eat your vegetables and exercise, you know, and there's a gazillion diets, which are variations of that theme. You know, the common wisdom is often wise. So that being said, let's talk about a couple other things. One, fear management. Uh, is super critical. A lot of people who are being assaulted just don't do anything or don't do anything really remotely effective even if they know better because they haven't trained themselves to stay operant in stressful conditions. So get to a martial arts school or get to some kind of training that teaches you how to stay functional in a high stress, adrenalized situation. Get some self-defense skills. Look, I teach martial arts for a living. I can tell you for a fact that when people walk in the door, most of them hit in a way that would just irritate at most people. Um, so if you want to be able to hit in such a way that would stop somebody, you need to train, you know. You want to be able to do that under stress, you need to train more. Um, so get out there, get some training, get your mindset. And the other thing is like, if you've never been, you know, had a punch thrown out you or never had someone wrap their hands around your neck or choke you a little bit, go someplace that you trust, you know, the people and it's safe and practice that so that when it happens, it's not Oh my God, I don't know what to do. It's like, oh, here comes that joke. I know what, you know. You can respond and you may not be calm in that moment, but you'll kind of have an idea what to do. And having an idea about what to do, even if it doesn't work, is the difference between blind panic and op working towards being safer. And so that's critical. Listen to mom, get some training.